the assumption that people have all the modern tools to communicate with um, is a bad assumption. Um, we need to assume that we're going to be using really traditional communication in some cases because cellular networks and access to the internet is assumed that we'll have that, but often those go down um, or they're overwhelmed. So you end up in a situation where you're having to try and figure out how to communicate. So have a plan for that and, and employ it right away. Um, start to get that put in place. You're going to be working with a lot of people from uh, other areas and you might be from not from that area. So, um, you know, having really good mapping and good information for those people so that if you're evacuating and you're sending, um, uh, you know, a police officer to point people down a road that they're actually pointing them down the right road and they're not going down a road that then has a T and they don't know which way to turn. Um, so, you know, cause you, you gotta assume that people are not from that area uh, all the way through the, the whole system uh, from the, those that are being evacuated to those that are telling people they need to evacuate. So um, get those systems in place to make sure that they're there and, and you'll be much better off. You start to get a backup plan and another backup plan and another backup plan uh, for their communication staff. Um, uh, for us, we had to draw people. Uh, I, I was one of them. Uh, I'm, I'm from over, uh, you know, a thousand kilometers away. So I, I traveled a, a great distance. It took me nine and a half hours to drive there. Um, and uh, we had other people that were the same way, but we were into our, I think, uh, fifth or sixth tier of people um, to cover that amount of time um, because, uh, you know, you get a certain amount of time out of people and, and then they're done. Um, Make sure you're getting rest and, and taking care of yourself mentally and physically. Uh, that became very important for all of us, especially for me as time went along. Um, we, we made sure that they looked out for us, uh, the, other, the other emergency operations staff. Um, it was funny, some days I would forget to eat. I, I didn't, and I would forget to go to the bathroom, in fact. I was so busy. And, and so they would bring along a plate and put it in front of me and have everything there. You gotta look out for each other. And, um, and, and make sure that uh, you, you have a, a plan for afterward and how you're gonna take care of your people after because coming down is also a very, very difficult thing. Um, for me, I had to continue on to post-disaster communications and the consultation process with the communities to learn from this disaster. And uh, so I d actually didn't get to come down. I, went in, I entered in July and I didn't actually finish until nearly the end of March.